She turned a mother of two children into a mainstream Bollywood heroine. She turned the art of laddu making into a style statement. And she turned Indian cinema on its head. Featured in Financial Times 2012 list of 25 Indians to watch and Redif's list of best Bollywood directors of 2012, she's a quiet filmmaker determined to have her way. Today, we welcome the director of English Winglish on our show Living Beyond Pink. We welcome Cory Shinde. Hello. <laughs> welcome to Living Beyond Pink, Cory. Thank you. Thank you, Sangeeta. If we, we look at your life from outside, you have led a very exciting life. You've been this really successful ad film director and then suddenly you come up with this movie which just turns the whole place upside down. So where does all that excitement in your life come from? Is there something in your childhood or something that <laughs> triggered your imagination? What, what is it? Yes, it's been interesting um, and uh, I, uh, I like to do a lot of things. In fact, until now I call myself Jack of All. You know, uh, and I was wondering whether I'll master one. Actually, I didn't care about it, but um, like I love to travel and I uh, like to write and I have various hobbies. I've taken up pottery in between and maybe a little bit of painting and then I love to read and I love to, uh, you know, hang out with my friends and go on, uh, you know, even solo journeys and stuff like that or just take up a new hobby. So uh, I've been uh, doing all of that and I think inspiration and because I've met a lot of interesting people, had a lot of interesting experiences and I think um, uh, that uh, somewhere sort of, I think, I mean I don't know, subconsciously I'm, I think that it sure. may have uh, sort of led me to... Influenced. Yeah. So were you as adventurous uh, when you were a kid? Yeah, I mean I've always wanted to do uh, new things and to my uh, mom's... Uh, worry actually to trying things which maybe sometimes I'm not meant to, I was not meant to you know as a little girl and a child and you know uh, and I always wanted to do everything that uh, boys did you know whatever freedom you have you still feel you 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 need more you need more. you know as you're growing up you still want more than what you already have it's only when I grew up and I you know, moved out and uh, found out for myself that how much I actually had and how much my parents were really cool people and who let me be and supported and encouraged whatever I wanted to do. Did you have a rebellious streak or did you just go along with uh, whatever you were asked to do? Like I said, I wanted to always have more than what I had. As in, um, I'd keep saying I want to live on my own and uh, I'll never marry, I'll have a live-in relationship. So I w was beyond whatever I was, you know, already uh, sort of given, given choices. Yeah. yeah. So uh, like one little bit of a teda <laughs> thinking, you know. I didn't believe in conventional living and conventional forms of uh, beliefs or... Uh, Society. Yeah, and those kind of things. And hmm. uh, like my first drink was with my dad, so... Awesome. That's again yeah. a very. Uh, yeah. That's a very unconventional. Yeah, that uh, is. I mean, uh, yes. I am uh, strangely uh, married to a man who cannot still drink in front of his parents. Okay. So it is very odd for me. Oh my. Yes. Can you imagine? And and the and the world that we actually live in. Yeah. Which uh, so yeah. I mean, my parents. I mean, encouraged this that openness. Whatever you all want to do, you know, first try it Share out with, it us, with us and. Uh, yeah. So it's never been something that, you know, of curiosity, oh, what is it? What is alcohol? Or what is it to meet boys? It was not a big deal. It was very normal. So that didn't, you know, that's why I wanted to do more things beyond this than try the conventional rebellion things. Uh, like, you didn't have much to rebel about, but you yeah. still wanted to lead your yeah, own life. Yeah, like Correct. I want to live alone or try to right. live alone or travel alone and do, I mean, at a much younger age. Yeah. I mean, now as, as a grown up, sort of, I, I don't grateful. think I'm still grown up, but I, still, <laughs> <laughs> I feel, wow, yeah, they're not they're really you're cool grateful. parents. Yeah, yeah. You're grateful. And you see contrasts <laughs> Yes, when you. you see that, you realize, oh my God, this also exists. Yeah, exactly. And how sad, you know, for some people that, uh, I mean, why can't parents just create this atmosphere? It's so much easier for... Uh, and especially Absolutely. women in this country to, Absolutely. to to be able to do what you like. I mean, my strength, I think, comes from there that, uh, you know, I could... And we automatically and think of uh, 
women sort of stepping out a little means they are rebelling against the Correct. existing order and Absolutely. so we won't don't want to let them do that yeah. it becomes a yeah. slightly threatening uh, yeah. issue i i agree with you yeah, totally in fact my that. mom who is a fantastic cook and the story is sure. inspired by her yeah uh in fact she made it a point that i didn't sort of do much in the kitchen until such time that there was really a necessity if i had to live on my own and do stuff right right I didn't want to do the conventional way of oh you're a girl and you need to learn how to cook and she never did that. Well, I think it's charming that you uh, so publicly dedicated uh, your <laughs> film to your mother. I'm sure she felt uh, very pleased oh, yeah, about it. Uh, your uh, movie script is very unconventional. How challenging was it to pitch it to the producers? It was a bit challenging in the beginning because it is an unconventional uh, story. it uh, has a it has all it had all the no, you know negatives Correct. from a industry point of view Correct. which is a female director a first time director there is no prior uh, proof of my skill <laughs> other than some short little films which is which means nothing mostly okay then um, then the central character is a woman again and not just any woman but like Uh, an adult i mean a grown up woman with uh, married woman with two kids you know i i don't use the word middle aged because it has a very negative yes, connotation she, by no stretch so, of imagination is she middle aged yeah, so. so i don't like to use that word and uh, okay let me say housewife yeah. which is not very yeah. exciting because yeah. she is not a model she is not uh, something glamorous yeah and uh, she she's not a teenager or she's not in she's yeah. just a regular woman regular woman and city. wearing a saree in a saree so uh, yeah how interesting could that be for uh, right. pitching you know right. so i had right. all the negatives there were not many people who were willing to i remember really take you it up. telling me when we met last time that uh, you didn't want balki to um, support you just because you're his wife you wanted him to believe in your project is that right it's um funny because i actually didn't want him to be anywhere part of this part of the yeah film. because yeah. i was like dying to do this on my own and get there and but uh, it so happened and this is how that nobody was ready to do it but then i also told him i said listen i don't want you ever to say that see i you know i've done this for you and uh, you know those kind of things was i I I don't like even if it's my family or my own parents and like I didn't take money from them when I even left my city to go stay in Bombay on my own so I have that little bit of uh, yeah and I, I don't want to uh, burden other people with my dreams I mean I want to do that on my own and then not okay. at other people's cost and time and whatever it is I mean I have so I didn't want him to actually you know go out of his way and uh, do all this but he said see if this was anyone else who came with the subject to me and this story i would want to do it i okay. mean okay yeah so it's not because you're uh, my wife and your uh, gauri that i i'm i'm saying i want to do it filmmaking is too much of a hard work to want to you know just uh, credit someone else yeah, with yeah, it yeah absolutely hmm. doesn't make any sense hmm. so yeah does it bother you when people call you balki's wife in spite of having made such a pathbreaking oh uh, that's not movie. entirely true actually in fact to someone and just for the sake of uh, introducing myself like most people who know me know him as my husband most people who know him know me as his wife mm. and who know us together know us mm. as individuals mm. so i think it's matter of convenience and what people are used to so i don't mm. take that too seriously and it's mm. fine i mean i'm happy to be his wife mm. so <laughs> okay so, i hope yeah. he watches this <laughs> a public statement yeah. Uh, it's for him and saying this. It's for him. <laughs> yes. Okay, Balki, please watch. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, you look incredibly young, um, and you were leading a major film project. You are a woman. Um, was your authority ever challenged um, when you were working on the movie? No, I. I mean, fortunately, it's never happened. And I guess almost a lot of people that I already knew as my team who I used while working on my ad films, they were also part of it. There were a lot of new people as well. Hmm. And no, it. Uh, no, it wasn't. I think. And also, it's. It's not that I think there was this mutual respect towards uh, everyone who's uh, working on the set. And this is a question. That's a trick question. I call it my trick question. Uh, so I'm going to give you a situation, and you have to give me your answer. Okay. So there's a woman who is incredibly successful, iconic in society, um, has a happy marriage, 
two kids and then one day she discovers that her husband has had an affair. He tells her that he had an affair. Um, now, what would you do in her position? Would you, he, he tells you that he loves you um, and he'll never do it again. Would you stick by him or would you call it quits? It is um, her decision as to how badly her self-esteem, her uh, self-respect has been damaged and how the 20 years have actually been and if you, they've been great years then she can review the relationship and maybe give it a chance and find it in herself to forgive if she wants to it has to be her choice and if it anyway wasn't worth I mean it wasn't such a great marriage this is a great chance to uh, start your life yeah <laughs> thank you so much Corgi for Most coming welcome, uh, pleasure. on this show thank you and uh, I hope to continue this conversation with you again. <laughs> Best of luck with your second project. Thank you. Gauri Shinde has truly lived her life beyond pink. We will meet another beyond pink woman in the next episode. Stay tuned. You know, whatever freedom you have, you still feel you, you, you need more. I didn't believe in conventional living and conventional forms of uh, beliefs or uh, society. Yeah, and those kind of things. My first drink was with my dad. Why can't parents just create this atmosphere? It's so much easier for, uh, and especially Absolutely. women in this country. I actually didn't want him to be anywhere part of this. Part of the Yeah, because yeah. I was like dying to do this on my own and get there.